Welcome back to the Argonne Act Show. Sitting here with Vinny Mad Dog Lopez. Going to play for us uh, in a little bit. Original E Street Band member. And uh, we're talking about how uh, Steel Mill was the, the first band he was in with Bruce. Then uh, he had the E Street Band. So you put out in 1973, Greetings uh, from Asbury Park, New Jersey. Yes. And uh, you're the drummer. And um, again, that album, man, it's still a uh, god. You know, to think... Uh, you guys at 24 years old were doing were, that that music and Bruce's writing the new song that I can't stop listening to now on my iPod I, I was listening to it today coming back from the, the shore I have a house in Tom's River and I commute back up uh, is that song The Angel you know oh, yeah, yeah. oh my god it's just, it's just so it like goes through you man and uh, incredible writing lost in the flood and all that stuff and it's a real different kind of album how long did that take to do and and was it uh, what kind of experience was that the album took us to record the tracks a day and a half you're kidding me <laughs> and then <laughs> really there was, there was a few little things that had to be stuck on it and then in about a week it was done he just went in there with all those lyrics and belted them out yeah we just went in but we rehearsed and you played you rehearsed and we wow. rehearsed and rehearsed and then when we got in the studio a lot of it was like one take we didn't do 10 no, takes no on a kidding. song. No, Cuz probably we, we you didn't have time too. Money was an issue oh, back money, right? money was a big issue. Yeah. You know, the second album took longer cuz I guess they gave him more money. Were you signed to Columbia? At Bruce, that point? Bruce was. At yes. that point. The, yes. the, 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 so now uh did you go on a massive tour after that? We we played more than James Brown did that year. Right. To, to to promote that album. Yep. And so now the very next year Wild Innocent East Street Shuffle comes out. Now when do you leave the band? Oh, uh, I was fired in 1974. Now, were you, are you on Wild Innocent in the Eastern yep. Shuffle? Okay, is that the last? That, so That's, you're not you're not on Born to Run. No, I'm not on Born to Run. I did help him with with some harmony things. He called me up because everybody thinks we're enemies, but we're not. But you, you know? played on Rosalita yeah. and, uh, and Incident on 57th Street and all those great dudes. Yeah. Okay, so so what what happens? Why do you get fired? Well, I'm not. It was my band. It was me and Danny's band. We asked Bruce to join our band. Right. And when it came down to we were all fine. Right. We had no problem. Then managers and agents Got take over. Yeah. And, you know, when you well, have Bruce to go himself, for Bruce money. himself sued that guy oh, after yeah. Born to Run. Oh, Appel, right? Mike Appel. Mike Appel. But if it wasn't for Mike, you see, truly... If it wasn't for Mike, Bruce wouldn't have made it, I don't think. Okay, Mike so he got him really going. Mike really got him going. And then he w they couldn't put Darkness out for three years, though, because Bruce, there was a legal issue. He wasn't, he, he wasn't allowed to even play, you know. He, so you and David uh, Sanchez or Sanchez? Sanchez. San okay, you two leave the band after that. Yes. Was he fired as well then? No, no, he left because he wanted to pursue his, his own jazz. He's a jazz band. guy, right? I remember that. Okay. So and Federici stays, though. Like, why do yeah. you leave and Danny stay? Uh, because uh, I became like the cog in the wheel, I guess you could say. Oh, you know, like uh, when we, when everybody have to get paid, you right. know, uh, they take because we put Sanchez in the band instead of t taking our fifty dollars a week that we were making. Right. Wow. <laughs> you know, and dividing it up and giving him fifty dollars. No, they take his share out of our money. Man. And that was like a little kicker for me, and I got in a little trouble because of that. Because I say I'll say something. Uh, uh, I'm not the, the elephant that blindly grabs <laughs> the other elephant's tail and walks behind. You're a Jersey guy. <laughs> you know, and I and I will say, speak up a little bit. Yeah, you know, yeah. and I got in trouble, so uh, it was okay. Now was Clarence uh, Clarence joined the, for Born to Run, right? No, Clarence was there. He was on both of those because the yeah. sax isn't as prominent. No, uh, but uh, so now Max Weinberg. Did you know Max Weinberg before that, or how does he find Max? He, 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 he well, he put the ad in the put an ad in the paper, in the right? Paper and then uh, and like a hundred and something guys came and and Max, a friend of mine that used to tape all our shows, gave Max the tapes. And Max told me this, and, you know, like one time at the garden, I saw him, I said, Max, you're sounding great tonight. He goes, I should sound great. I'm doing all your licks. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you and Max are friendly. We're friendly. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So you think you were fired because you sort of spoke up about money issues. I, st I spoke up about money every time. You know, hey, Mike, when are we going to get royalties? Right. What's going on with this? Who do you, who do you think you are, Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fun I for say, someone. No, that's no. a fun thing there. <laughs> well, yeah. you, well, now I see uh, again. I've been saying this uh, every five seconds now because I loved it so much. But I just saw a documentary about Ginger Baker, yeah. and uh, I saw w one of the drummers they uh, interview. They interview a bunch of drummers, and I think it's the guy from the Police. Um, 
uh, he, he, Stuart Copeland. He says that the drummer is part of the arrangement, and er, the arrangement gets no royalties. Right. That that's insane. Right. Like who 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 thought up that deal? Well, I guess <laughs> I'm a, I'm a union member, and I still don't know. Right. You know what I mean? so. Jesus. <laughs> that's crazy. You know, but uh, Ginger Baker is sitting. He's, he, it's the funny. You got to watch it. It's the funny. I've, you, I've you ever seen meet that guy? I, I st my first time. <laughs> Because of Buzzy's father on Savoy Records, we got the Murray the K show, and I was standing backstage when Cream was playing, and I was right here. Right. And there's Ginger Baker right there. Okay. And, and I looked up when he was playing, and I went, I want to do that. He's uh, That's what every drummer said. He, he was the best. I want to do and that. And he influenced everybody, but a legitimate lunatic. Like oh, a crazy oh, person. Absolutely. But he <laughs> said, he goes, uh, the, the lyricist uh, for Cream and Jack Bruce are making way more money than him and uh, Clapton are because Clapton and him just got arrangement stuff and no royalties really from Green until they had a reunion and they had to pay them. Yeah, well, so. you, you know, it depends on the deal you make, right? I yeah. mean, the, the writer of the songs makes out, right? you know, with the royalties and the guys in the band, uh, you, you know, like you get paid. You got to go on the road. You got to go, go on, on the road, road yeah. to really make your money. Now you, uh, now so you, you, you get fired from the band after. And by the way, I mean, my God, think about that. You're on two amazing albums. I mean, Wild Industry and the East Street. I mean, uh, Danny's uh, Falato's the other resident huge fan. The, the, the Wild, the Innocent is that's arguably the best album, right? I think so. It's up Absolutely. there, right? I mean, yeah. but so you, you, you do that kind of work, uh, Vin, and and you're out of the band. So what, what happens in your life after that? Like immediately. That. What do you, do you get in another band? Go right into another band. I keep playing, and you just keep playing. You're you're a musician. You just keep yeah. going, right? Yep. And that's you go back on the road and everything. And... Yep. Play clubs Asbury. I grew up in Asbury, all all along the Jersey Shore. Right. And you remain friendly with with Bruce and those guys. You all were able to separate all that stuff. It was business and it's water yeah. under the bridge. And that's, I mean, you do. You know, it's great. You, you seem very peaceful. I love. I love it. There's not an ounce of any anger in you. You seem very cool with it. Oh, I'm not. No, I don't want anger. No, I, I, want I, I get that. I get that vibe from you. When, <laughs> I, want, I want happy. <laughs> this is this age that I am right now, <laughs> and I, uh, you know, I. Have, I want to be happy. Yeah, no, I hear Even you, when we play, it makes me happy. I hear you, brother. That's why I was just talking in my opening thing about uh, about Jay Leno and, and Letterman, these two guys who I adore uh, as a fan and, uh, you know, now hanging out with Jay a little bit and, and, and doing Letterman show a little bit. I love them to death, and it worries me that they're not happy guys for some reason. It's like, why not, you know? I don't know. I got a, I got a, a great girlfriend, Dawn. That helps. And uh, she loves what I do, and she's... 100% behind me and the guys in the band we uh, we get along very well right. and uh, that's all that's all I care about and when I get the caddy for the pro that's, that's, that's even good too it's all <laughs> well, good well then we're going to take another quick break when we come back in just a minute uh, to, to wrap stuff up in this hour then you're going to play for us man yeah thanks so much for stopping by it's my pleasure Vinny man good. Dog Lopez uh, license to chill play uh, in the beginning of the next hour and we'll be back right after these words I was sitting here with the drummer for uh, uh, the license to chill and the original East Street band, Vinny Man Dog Lopez. What about music today, Vin? Do you, do you have any uh, modern music that you listen to, or you still like the older stuff, or it's just all types of music that you like? I like the, some of the new country stuff. And, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Kenny Chesney and, and right. guys like that. And uh, I like Jimmy Buffett. Right, yeah. You know, I mean... He uh, still tours, I guess, he, right? He tours when he wants to, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he wants, he goes out. That's right. But I like, I like Bruce. Right. You know? Yeah, do you I go to the shows the still? Yeah, I go. And, but Bruce will call me. I'll be like, I haven't seen you for a while, Vin. You better get up here. Oh, you know? really? <laughs> so I go. <laughs> yeah. And it's always like five minutes before the show is going to start when he calls. You know, so. But yeah. I get to go. Yeah, I still does an amazing job. Oh, it's my unbelievable. God, like four, he's back to doing like four hours. I don't and know he's how been he on the road it. for two and a half straight years now, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's Finally, incredible. he's getting a little break. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess. Uh, well, you know, again, uh, one of the biggest uh, things that ever happened to me was uh, he called me after I went through a, a living hell getting off of uh, heroin. And, um, uh, you know, I used to talk on the Howard Stern show about how much I love Bruce, you know, and big fan of his. And, um, through some people that I know uh, that uh, knew Bruce pretty well, uh, I guess they told him my uh, number I was at. He gave me a call about uh, two and a half years ago, just as I got out of rehab. I got out of rehab, and I was working hard to beat it, and he called me, and uh, 
We talked for like an hour on the phone, an hour and a half. He talked to me. He just took the time out to do that. I was so impressed by that. I just, That's I just, great. You know, and I had never, I, I had met him real briefly before that. We must have said two words to each other. And he took the time out. I was a fan of his to talk to me that long. He's just, a fan of yours, too. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. <laughs> Well, I mean, listen. It was just uh, that, that's the real thing, man. You know, it's, yeah. uh, you get a, you get a good vibe uh, from someone like that, and um, it keeps you going. It keeps you going. Oh, like yeah. what you guys got together to do. Like, I have so much respect for musicians. Like what you guys do is, uh, I'm such a fan of it. Well, thank you. And uh, I appreciate you doing the show. Uh, like I say, so uh, how long have you been with these guys? We're gonna we're gonna take a break. And we're gonna get you good together. Uh, I've been with uh, Vince Berardi, the guitar player, for about four years now. Oh, cool. And John Bryce, the bass player, uh, he's he came on board a couple of years ago. Awesome. And uh, our sax player, Taz, I met him at a jam session I was doing in Asbury Park uh, years ago. Well, well, listen, here we go. Uh, when we come back, License to Chill will play. Mini Man Dog Lopez. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you. After these words.